How you doing YouTube? Today I'm going to talk about how I went from being 300 plus pounds to what I currently am now, which is about 157 or so. Run. And um, well, the first reason why I say 300 plus pounds is because I, I don't actually even remember where I was. Um, I kind of stopped weighing myself at 300. Uh, I guess it was a lot of you know psychological things that you know, I'm pretty sure you guys are aware of. Uh, what happens when you're that big is just you kind of just don't look anymore. Uh, when I started weighing myself though, then I started, you know, I'd say 300 pounds because it just sounds better. But um, what I did and, and how I did it was that I actually started what's called, you know, the keto diet. And I, I know probably a lot of you guys are familiar with that. Um, and if you're not, you can just, there's plenty of videos and information out there on the webs on the internet and websites everywhere about, you know, what it is and how it works. And and I mean, just briefly, what, what happens is that when you eliminate pretty much carbs and sugars and all that stuff your body starts to actually eat out fat and you start seeing results faster and keto i think it, it's it really helps people who are really big you know or be obese you know which is what i was because it kind of fools you it, it, it kind of makes you feel that when you hear what keto is you say well um you can eat bacon you can eat butter yeah pretty much all the things that are delicious uh you can have and when you're really big, you, you kind of see that and you think, wow, I, I can still eat all that stuff. And, oh, does your does your steak uh, lack uh, some uh, juice? Well, add some butter to it. So it really kind of fools you and it makes you feel, oh, you know what, if I can do this, you know, it doesn't feel that hard. Bread, potatoes and all that stuff, you know, I can I can give that up if I can still have bacon and butters and, you know, all that stuff. So so it really, it, that's, I think, one of the reasons why it attracts people. And it, it did work for me. Uh, it worked for me uh, when I was at three plus pounds. And I started seeing results right away, but something kind of awesome happened with uh, keto that I think a lot of people kind of dismiss if you stick to it is that I started seeing results so fast. I mean, you're talking about I was losing four pounds plus a week and I was still eating bad. I mean, I was eating a lot of bacon, blah, blah, blah. But then I kind of felt like there was this cloud lifted from my head that kind of just told me, you know what? You, you're not, you're not healthy. This isn't healthy to eat a lot of bacon. So what did I start doing? I started limiting my portions. So I'm not exercising. I'm just eating really bad, you know, fats and keto. Real keto is what I call it. But what happened was that once I felt like a cloud was lifted, I started thinking, this isn't healthy. Maybe I should limit my portion. So I started eating, instead of eating two, three eggs in the morning with four or five pieces of bacon, I started reducing it. I started eating two eggs and just, you know, two slices of bacon. Later, I got even even more. Um, a couple months passed, and I started um, losing more weight. Still four pounds ish. Um, I remember I plateaued about two hundred and fifty or so, two hundred and thirty. Um, and well, then I, I limited it down, and I went to I started eating uh, um, instead of doing the sauce, pork sausage and beef, uh, beef this and that, and beef and pork. I started lower, uh, getting leaner meats, turkey. Um, you know, chicken. Uh, I started looking at my portions. I saw my portions started being, you know, pretty much a fistful of protein, which is the size of your heart, you know, or somebody told me that. And unlimited vegetables. Uh, I always had unlimited vegetables and unlimited uh, water. Uh, I completely gave up Coke and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, I'm going to make another video and I'm going to talk about, you know, kind of like my day to day and, and, you know, how I do meal prep and stuff like that. Because that, this is now where I'm at now. But I, I, I want to make this video kind of initially just start off and just say how I kind of went from that you know big transition because it didn't go from there to here it, it start it went very slowly and there was a lot of steps involved uh the steps started being like i said started on real keto to limiting portions so then being a little bit smarter about the meats that i'm eating you know kind of limiting bread meats and stuff like that and start you know eating leaner meats and then um i completely um i noticed that i i just stopped craving things um i no longer was walking around you know kind of angry that I couldn't have these foods like potato and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it, it just started happening. And then finally at about 230-ish pounds, I started walking. I started walking uh, and started doing some light exercise, some light cardio. Um, but I literally just ran maybe a month ago uh, a 10K. And I'm actually um, really training for a half marathon in November. And that's kind of one of my goals. But I did not get there, uh, you know, 
once one day to the next it was a small transition even with coke uh, coca-cola i was completely hooked and, okay now i'm just gonna be honest with you i was a food addict okay and maybe later i'll make another video about food addiction and how to beat it but with coca-cola for instance i now drink just water but i didn't go from coke to water i went from coca-cola to flavored uh flavored um iced tea with just the, you know the fake sugar the the, the sweet and lows the the you know splenda stuff like that to then going to sweet water you know the zero water that you see that's flavored with peach and strawberries and raspberries so it was it was coke cola real coke to like flavored uh drinks to then finally to flavored water and then to mineral water which i still drink i still drink a lot of mineral water it's fine um it doesn't have anything really uh, but I do just limit it for dinner, just personal choice. And then just to finally drinking regular water. Oh, sorry, sorry. I actually skipped water with lemon, water with oranges, just real fruit in there uh, and lemon and lime. And to finally water where I'm, I'm at now. And, and I think that that's the kind of the key that I want people to know. And, and this is a video that I'm making because I get stopped all the time by friends uh, or you know they call me and they text me kind of want to know this the secret of how I did it because you know these people saw me at 300 plus pounds to what I'm, I'm at now and and either people don't believe me when I tell them now but um, but again I get stopped all the time co-workers uh, in the elevator or in the hallways or whatever friends family members you know they kind of want to know what the secret was uh, I know a lot of people struggle with their weight and I kind of feel like if I can help that one person, you know, who just kind of feels like the way I felt, that I said literally just sit there and be like, "Why am I so fat?" And and you know, I really wanted some somebody to help me and you see all this stuff on TV and all these supplements and, and nutrition things and diets and blah, blah blah and things you have to buy and, and work out this much every day all the time. How do you go from not working out at all to having to work out every day? That's impossible. Now I do work out 4 or 5 times a week. But it's completely different. Again, once that cloud is lifted from you, from your addictions, whether it's sugar or whether it's just bad habits or whatever it may be, then you can actually start to focus on yourself and to kind of see um, what you can actually attack and how you can attack it. But if you don't have a game plan, if you don't have a way to start, it's not going to happen. So am I going to sit here and tell you that there's a magical formula? No, it's not. This worked for me. It might not work for you. I hope it does work for you. But... It, it's something that you can definitely do. Uh, will it be hard at first? It will be hard like everything else. You know, when you start off, it's kind of difficult. But then later, you know, it'll start getting easier and you start getting used to it. And it starts to become, you know, what people say, a lifestyle where it just becomes, you know, just like how you started, you know, eating really unhealthy and the meals that you have that are very unhealthy and the time that you eat them, you would develop, you know, a, a, a better relationship with food, number one, and also to a habit of being healthy and you know that that's kind of what I wanted to do I want like I said if I can help that one person to kind of feels the way I felt where it almost feels like it's impossible to lose weight I just felt like I wasn't one of the chosen ones to be you know thin or, or athletic I just felt like I always you know I, a little bit about myself you know I was kind of thin my whole life uh, but then later I just you know typical stuff got married, you know, got into a routine, got an office job and just, you know, just being very just sedentary, you know, it just kind of happens. But again, I didn't gain the weight from one day to the next. I actually gained it in the span of about 10 years or so is how I got that big. Uh, I'm, I'm at the best physical peak right now at my life. Uh, I'm at 34 now other than I ever was. I was always kind of scrawny or kind of had like a, a gut. Um, but now, you know, just eating healthy, limiting portions, uh, stuff like that and you know and in keto in reality is there is no cheat day I know that's a little bit you know hard but you are eating you know you can eat a lot of meats and fats and stuff like that so I mean as far as cake and sugars that's the main thing is sugar sugar is the modern day my, my opinion of course sugar is a modern day heroin um, sugar is actually what is is the culprit for a lot of things so if you can give up that sugar that is what the real keto is about. And, you know, again, limit yourself and start kind of looking at that. But, again, hopefully this helps out that one person. I'm going to start posting uh, videos as best as I can. I want to talk, get a little more in depth in this, uh, in this topic. I want to talk a little bit about, you know, 
different topics that I want to talk about, stretch marks, uh, daily routines of how I eat, meal prepping, uh, exercises, stuff like that. And, you know, again, I'm not an expert. Obviously, you know, you know, my arms aren't, you know, big or anything like that. But losing all that weight, having the motivation, uh, the determination to do and get things done, the discipline. Not only did I notice that it affected my weight, obviously, and how I look, but it also affected my lifestyle. And also, it affected other parts of my life. And I think that's what's very important is people underestimate the power of being healthy but again thank you so much youtube for watching uh hit the like button subscribe if you want to um hit the bell notification to hear my other videos and hear what i have to say thank you so much have a good one